Good morning, how's everybody doing? <laughs> hey everyone, all about Spike here. Back from a nice Christmas vacation, so to speak. Into the new year, this will be the last stream of this year. Hard to believe, hard to imagine. Another year gone by. But here we are. And it's been an interesting year. Uh, you know, we've, uh, let's see, what have we done together? We've printed some great stuff, made some really interesting things. Um, oh my god, we, uh, we hit affiliate. That was a, that was a big deal. That was a big deal this year. Uh, so, you know, already thinking about what to do for my one year anniversary for that. Um, looking forward to enjoying that with you folks, you fine folks in the Autobot Alliance. We played around, we, we've lived, we've loved, we've lost, we've done all kinds of dumb shit to our stream. Uh, and we've still made it through. We're back. I feel like we're in a pretty good place. We've played some cool stuff along the way. Let's see, we played uh, Full Throttle. That was a fun little point and click. We did a little uh, Roger Wilco and the Sarian encounter. It's another point and click jam that we tried out this year. Uh, man, what else have we done? My gosh. Uh... I already remember everything we've done this year. I had a spreadsheet. <laughs> uh, you know what, though? Um, I'm think pretty sure everything. Uh, everything we've done uh, this year. Let's see if I can break my stream by finding my spreadsheet here real quick. Oh, it's on the other screen, though, so I'm going to have to... <laughs> oh, I can't find a thing. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. All right, so. <sighs> Don't mind me. I'm just breaking everything by opening Google. <laughs> ah, I found it. Actually, I don't think I've even updated this recently. I was doing pretty good about this. I was keeping track of... Oh, boy. Uh... I don't even... Yeah, okay. So, actually, here's the, here's the sound. I'm going to have to go back. Um, because I haven't even added where we played Roger Wilco. Huh. All right. All right. I don't even know when I did it. So, look. I go, gosh, we've done... All right. What have we done this year? I got the list. Um, Sonic the Hedgehog. We finished that. Uh, one, two, and three. We did the Final Fantasy Legend, where we discovered the Werewolf Ocean. Um, and uh, that was an old Game Boy game that we played. Uh, that was pretty cool. We did that on our Retron HQ. Or no, SQ. <laughs> HQ. Uh, let's see. Oh, we did. And we did uh, then we went and we did Sonic and Knuckles also. Uh, oh, we did the original Turtles on the NES. That's right. Uh, and Turtles 2, the arcade game, for that matter. And then, by request, we did TMNT Fall of the Foot Clan on the Game Boy. And let me tell you, that was actually a lot of fun. I enjoyed that one a lot. Uh, I think it's got some speedrun potential, so we might revisit that uh, someday. And... You know, the music was banging on that, too. I actually really... I found out that the, the, the soundboard on the Game Boy, I think, was actually more advanced than that on the uh, the NES. So, uh, that might have had something to do with it. Uh, and then we got an our Mario era. So, that was around July, uh, August. Uh, we did uh, Super Mario World. Started that in July. In, in part of July. We got that one... Uh, we got that one finished, I'm pretty sure. Not, maybe not 100%. Uh, but we did we did most of it, uh, including the Secret Stars, which was pretty cool. Did uh, oh we beat Contra just to do it, uh, and then we jumped into the 120 star run that we did for Super Mario 64. That was intense. We haven't done that one. Uh, I hadn't done that in a long time. And that was that was hard. Honestly, I think the hardest thing was fighting Bowser at the end, though. I mean, I, I spent probably an hour on that. Uh, which was a bit of a surprise, but I had forgotten um, that they don't give you the little crutch of just being right there near the bombs. You really got to get precise on that one. And uh, so, but we made it. We made it through just the same, no problems. 
Uh, yeah, and then we went to full throttle, and that was pretty sweet. Uh, I forgot how short it was, though, but that's all right. Short and sweet about that. Uh, played Roger Wilco 1 in the Saurian Encounter. Uh, and then I don't really remember what we did after that. I think I had a little um, unintended hiatus. Uh, I'm trying to think what other games we played. Oh! Arise Highbury underscore Hazard Prime and Light Our Darkest Hour. Happy Autobotversary. Hey, Highbury. It's great to see you. Thanks again for the, oh, five months. Holy shit. Thank you. Thank you for subbing for five months, for believing in me for longer than five months. I appreciate that, too. Oh, man. I hope you're doing well. I uh, hope your um, holidays were, were very nice. I hope you don't have too much stress as we cruise into the new year. We were just going over uh, the games that we have played uh, since, well, really this year. Uh, since really jumping in in earnest back in April. Um, you know, I think that was uh, that, that was that, that was a big thing back when we were doing our Sonic the Hedgehog streams. Which was still super fun. Loved that. I, I really did. I think that was uh, some of the most fun I had in a long time. And I think platformers might be my jam. I've been playing, uh, I've been playing Super Mario 3D World. Now, that's not quite old enough to uh, do on a retro stream, supposedly. I mean, what, with it being about 10 years old this coming year. But, yeah, we might check it out sometime. You know, just for fun. We'll go off book a little bit. Let's see. And I think we've, uh, we've rounded it out. We came around, uh, down to, and where we're at now, Halo CE Anniversary. Uh, to hopefully finish out this year. I don't know how far we'll get. Uh, I've got a little time today, and then i got to jump out of here. Uh, we may have some unexpected guests today. Uh, my wife and, and kid are home, uh, and she likes to see what I'm up to. She likes, she's, she finds the streaming thing interesting. So, But, um, but hey, uh, let's see. What can I show you? Oh, this is like the coolest thing that ever was, and this light is going to really mess this up. There we go. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. This was gifted to me. Uh, this AirPods, if you didn't know. Uh, this was gifted to me by my parents, uh, who I think uh, I think it's really great that they are so supportive. Uh, it says Autobot Spike on it, uh, which is super cool. I will figure out how to use these on my computer to use them for uh, streaming. So that's coming. And I like the idea of being hands-free. Uh, it should work really well since I, I use a Mac. At work, so I'll be popping on and off. Hope you had a wonderful Christmas. Hi, Bree. I had a wonderful Christmas. In fact, um, it was really nice. Uh, I think my kid enjoyed herself a ton, which is, of course, what it's all about, the kids, you know. Um, but uh, I, I myself had a, a nice uh, few unexpected uh, pleasantries. And just in general, just did have a good time, I think, all around. It's nice to be with uh, with family when you can, and we were able to. So, uh, yeah, no, it's right. Thank you for asking, and I, I, I hope the same for you. Hey, what is going on? How are you today? It's good to see you. Uh, you know, I've never actually had to pronounce that out loud. Is it Vi Viren? Viren? Or, or Viran? Help me out on that one, and I'll, I'll, I'll add it to the memory banks. It's good to see you, and thank you. We're popping in for a chat. We were just kind of recapping the, the last year. Byron, okay. Good deal. Yeah, we were just recapping a little bit, Byron. We're going to jump on uh, and do some uh, Halo CE anniversary here in just a moment. And this is chatting at Highbury. We will be in and out, as he said. Well, uh, I'm sure you've probably caught the streams before, Byron, but uh, if if not, we've got a, a bunch of different things that a person can do in order to um, see what all is going on in the stream. Uh, so feel free to check out those Channel Point Redemptions. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Uh, otherwise, I think we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, 
And, uh, oh yeah, and if you're new here, we do 3D printing live on stream. Uh, so you're going to see some things that you maybe haven't seen before. Uh, for example, uh, this is one of my print heads uh, that is putting down a nice, smooth layer of molten plastic as we speak, uh, which is always super fun. Uh, and then this one here... Uh, which you can't see at the moment, but once that print head clears, you should be able to see what's on the build plate. Uh, this is my other printer that I've got running just for uh, just for the purposes of having some interesting things to watch. So you'll see those throughout the stream. Uh, and we'll enjoy that. All right, so I've got my game pulled up. I think we're going to dive right in uh, and have some fun with that. Oh, hey there, kiddo. Hang on one second, guys. Hey, can you get the door for me, kiddo? <laughs> All right, it's okay. Keepo can come in. All right, thanks, hon. I'll let him out. All right. <laughs> hey, thanks, Byron. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I enjoy the, uh, I, I enjoy the different uh, things I have going on in my stream, and thank you for uh, the sentiment. Appreciate that. All right, I think we're ready for our game. So we're going to dive in right now. We're playing this on the Master Chief Collection on the Xbox Series uh, S. And I apologize, I do not stream at 60 frames per second. I have tried. Um, so, these things happen. Uh, one day, we'll upgrade this PC and we'll, uh, you know... <laughs> That's basically how it is. <laughs> but I do my best, and we have fun here, and that's all that matters. How about you, Byron? Did you, uh, did you have uh, a nice, uh, nice time so far through the holiday season? Things going okay for you? Happy Halo Days, Spartans. Oh, okay, that's good. Which reminds me, I need to get my Halo Infinite stuff before it's too late. Going back to the campaign, Halo CE Anniversary. We're going to resume. When you locate Captain Key, radio in, and I'll come pick you up. All right, let's see. What were we doing? I guess, you know, I don't think the frame rates are so bad. I think it looks all right. I think we'll be okay with that. Alright, so we're... That's nice, man. Let me tell you what. That is that is where it's at. Uh, Low-key is definitely my, my new jam. That's good, though. That's good. I'm glad... That you had a nice time. Oh, hey, here's all the stuff I need. What is that? Mag Magnum bullets? Yes. Okay. Whoa, who's shooting me? Oh, you. Oh, crap. There, took care of that. All right. Oh, hey, Nova's on. So, yeah, that's good. Small and manageable. I, I, that's, that's how I like to do stuff anymore. I just can't do all the big events anymore these days, you know? Or maybe I've just forgotten up until now how nice it is just to be with a close group. That might be it as well. Getting cool out this way. Did I just come out this way? I feel like I did. 
I'm much more for that style of celebration. I called my dad and stepmom on Christmas, and they were in the middle of prepping what sounded like a 40-course meal for the two of them. <laughs> Huh. It sounds kind of nice, though. Sometimes it's fun just to... Just make a bunch of food and just go crazy. I enjoy that. But, uh... Well, good. I'm glad. Uh, you know, we are fortunate that the majority of our close family are um, nearby each other. So it was easy to kind of go back and forth. Hang on just one second, pal. Oh, you've got a, you've got a pie, do you? And some beef. Okay. I just put them just mixed together, but they don't really stick together. Oh, I see. Well, that's all right. They don't have okay. Okay, that's no problem, kiddo. Do you need something else? Well, I just <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say, huh? Probably. Because Rainbow Dash doesn't like pie. Rainbow Dash does not like pie. That's true. Yeah, have, fun. <laughs> have fun, kiddo. Yeah. Yes, I will. I will absolutely be Rainbow Dash for you. Hey. What? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> She's the best. She starts asking all kinds of questions. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know the answers to all of those. <laughs> so, well, good. I'm glad that you had a nice, uh, a nice holiday, Byron. Really am. It's always good to hear that a uh, a friendly, familiar uh, face has had uh, an enjoyable time. Let me figure out how to get to where I'm going here. Oh, yes, absolutely. Oh, more important business. Hey, Dad, what he do? <laughs> what, what a goober. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, there'll be a little bit of that today, and that's all right. She's a good kid. We like her. I'm <laughs> so lost. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Okay, this will tell me something anyway. Uh, come through here. No! What? Alright. I thought, well, if I came through here and these guys were here. Okay, this is this has to be where I need to go. Yeah, alright, good. Ooh. Like some kind of screen tearing or something here. That was weird. Alright. 
Do I need to go up? What's the deal? How am I, wait, am I supposed to be up there? I'll see if I can get up there. If you have any idea where I'm supposed to go, let me know. <laughs> huh. Oh, I need this. There we go. That's a little better. I don't know if that is better. Let's brighten my day here. Wow, no, too much. There we are. Now, Byron, this isn't the uh, this isn't the first of my streams you caught, or is it? Is this your first time hanging out with uh, hanging out with the old boy Spike? Well, I'm in the water now. Oh, for real, though. <clears throat> uh, recession skull. Unlo I unlocked a skull. Oh, got a skull. I did not mean to get that skull. Huh. There's got to be a way out that I've just missed. Right? Wow, I feel, feel very underprepared for getting out of the swamp. Oh, am I supposed to do something here? Okay, alright, so... I think I need to get up there somehow. I go through... Alright. I went through here. I really did. Uh, I don't know that I can get up there. Oh! <laughs> gotcha. Well, welcome back. I appreciate that. Uh, you decided to come back in and hang out. Ah, figured out where I need to go. I think. Glad to see you again joining us for... Uh, pro yeah, this will be the last stream of the year. Um, no, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll do our best to go out with a bang here. Hey, guy. Ah oh, man. I got him already. Alright, here's where we need to get to. I hope you're enjoying things. I always try to make things fun, keep it interesting. Wow, what's going on there? Oh, and uh, yeah, here, this is overdue. Hello, friend. That's new for me. The soundboard is new. I uh, added that recently. I think it's a ton of fun. Fully customizable.
Okay. I don't know who they were shooting at. Were they shooting at each other? <laughs> yeah, I've been uh, really enjoying... You know what? I surprisingly don't have a fart noise. I, I really think I need one. Um... You know, I have some, a lot of situational stuff, mostly. This is not an elevator, apparently, or is it? Oh, it is. Oh, oh we're going down. Okay. <laughs> yes, you're right about that. <laughs> well, I'm going to need a fart noise now. That's all there is to it. <laughs> Even me know that's stupid. <laughs> nice. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> oh, shit, they're shooting me. Back when the pistol was still a viable weapon. All right. Now, I may be playing a little fast and loose with the retro category here. I'm definitely playing on modern hardware. I'm definitely playing a modern uh, interpretation of this game. Uh, however, you know, uh, Halo CE uh, came back and uh, came out in 2001, and then Anniversary came out in 2011. Uh, and so, you know, we're pretty close to the mark there. I mean, you know, 20. 21 would be 10 years, you know, 23 would be uh, 13. So it's not quite 15 years, which is, you know, supposedly the standard for calling a game a retro game. But, right. And I think it's fine. I, I really do. I don't think there's, there's anything I need to worry about too much. Uh, I, I am lost, though, again. Maybe this is the door I need to go through. I thought I just came through this one, but I don't know. Nope. Guess not. <laughs> I don't worry too much about it. I love my retro games, but I'm not so hardcore to imagine that I couldn't also provide uh, a updated experience. Come here. You're still alive. I'm a bit choked. I finally got MCC uh, Master Chief Collection on PC, and it's been great playing with the mouse. Now that I've found it, I have tendonitis in my shoulder. If I play it, I'll have to use a controller. Man, look. I'm sorry it took you getting tendonitis to, you know, find out that this is the absolute best way to be playing this type of game. But, uh, you know, if that's what it takes. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, there you go. No, uh, it is um, it is a silver lining. Uh, no, actually, I'm sorry to hear about the tendonitis, though, pal. Uh, that's that's a real shame. Is that is that what is that the official diagnosis of what's been going on? Although, actually, Byron, you, you bring up a, a fascinating point here. Yes, it was originally designed to be used with a controller. Um, but it also did get PC and even Mac... <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, even Mac releases. Um, oh, that they had a bad time. Wow, what happened in there, guys? 
they sleeping? Um, so I'm curious, especially on the Mac, uh, what they were going to, um, what they were going to be having people playing on. I must, this must be where I came through. Yes, it is. Okay. You know, so I, mean, I guess they had to have figured uh, some mouse keyboard input. No, see? Hold on a second. Should, should I be able to get up there? Alright, this looks new. No, I just... Have I seriously just been through here again? Son of a bitch! Tendonitis degenerated. Ouch. Yikes. I don't know enough about this sort of thing to know what one does about that. Yeah, I don't know. And, and that's the thing. This originally, yeah, this was originally going to be a, a an Apple uh, property, if you can believe it. Uh, Bungie actually uh, shopped it to Steve Jobs. Uh, initially, if you can believe that, I feel like I've been here, man. Serious? Oh wait, here we are. Yeah, that's right. It was originally um, intended as a real-time strategy game. Uh, and then uh, what they started to do is they, they, they started kind of bringing the action in closer and closer. Hey. Stay back! Stay back! You're not turning me into one of those things! Why are you I'm shooting me, dude? Right Get away from me! Ah! Ah! Sorry, dude. An eye box. Can you imagine? Uh, I feel like it'd be developer hell. I, did, I think I end up killing this guy. I'm sorry. Hey, man. You're okay. You're okay. He's just sleeping. He's sleeping. Okay. Oh. Oh, I know what you guys did. Oh, you're dumb. So yeah, it started off that, sorry, that was it, it started off as a, um, uh, real-time strategy game, and then, yeah, they kept bringing the, uh, the, the action closer and closer to the player, uh, or the, the I guess the, the, uh, troop or whatever, the unit, uh, and when it got to the point where, like, you know, like, hey, you know what would be fun is if they could actually get in and drive the Warthog as part of this, well, then they actually found out that that was way more fun than the thing they were trying to do. Uh, and so they shifted gears, and there was going to be a, th a third-person uh, shooter, actually. Um, and it actually stayed a, a third-person shooter for much of its uh, final development. Uh, well up, right up until shortly before launch, they actually decided to just bring you right into the helmet. Uh, but they actually kept the... Um, they kept the third-person elements when you use things like heavy artillery... Uh, such as uh, mounted weapons and things like that. So, pretty cool if you ask me. <laughs> oh, cutscene. Let me just, like, just carry you, dude, with one hand. Real quick, says Master Chief. 
Hmm. Ah, Jenkins. First name, Leroy. <laughs> ah, it was Wallace. Too bad, missed opportunity. Oh, it's a helmet cam. I get it. Mendoza, move it up. Wait here for the captain and his squad, then get your ass inside. Sir. Okay, let's move. Fast forward. What's that? Plasma scoring? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Maybe there was an accident. You know, friendly fire or something? What do we have, Sergeant? Looks like a Covenant patrol. Badass elite units. All KIA. Real pretty. Friend of yours? No, we just met. Hmm. <laughs> Well, let's get this door open. I'll try, sir. But it looks like these Covenant work pretty hard to lock it down. Just do it, son. Yes, sir. It's a good thing they have technology that can just open pretty much whatever. Keys is all like Hold still, hold still. Let him have it. Ah. Oh Jesus. I didn't remember the flood being that big, or maybe it's just from Master Chief's perspective they're not. Ooh. Gross. Done with that. Don't ever want to see that again. Oh, nasty. Nasty. Here, I'm going to do something fun. Look at that. That's just not even there. Well, see, I didn't remember. Uh, oh, what I did, by the way, here's the, uh, this is OG graphics. Uh, normally, uh, 
got a, a point thing for that, but I'm just, I want to see the, oh shit, okay, yeah, here they are. Oh, more of you, huh? Ah! Can I just do all- is this bad? Do I'm supposed to run? Serious guy. Whoa! God, oh, how do I get out? Oh god, okay. That's good. It's like a boss battle or what's going on here? Whoa, shit! Holy crap. Woo. Yeah, blood stains are whoa. I'm pretty sure they added the bodies just because they could. Let's see what these look like. Oh. They're kind of cool. Gross. I don't know. I kind of like that better. Hey. Oh god, there's two of them. Alright, I'm definitely picking up some more rounds here. Could use some more grenades though. You guys all having a bad time? Looks like it. Huh. I don't know which is worse. Letting it happen or watching it happen? No, uh, or, yeah, letting it happen or not letting it happen? Whoa, 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 hey, get out. Shit. Stay down, oh my god. What's even happening here? Will they just get up?
Okay. Well, I deactivated it, I guess. Oh, man. All right. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I think I was just down there. Wow. You know, so it's a zombie game. I really thought about that before. But this is this is a zombie game. Yeah. Okay. Am I supposed to do anything here? No? Okay. Uh, come on, man. I'm actually not sure what I'm supposed to do in here. I don't know that I was supposed to come in here. Is this right? Wait, is this where I came through? We're going to find out. I don't think so. I think I need to go through here. And stay down. Oh my gosh. You know, what's amazing to me is all the 11th hour shit that they came up with uh, in this game. Like, they actually couldn't finish all the levels they wanted to do, so you actually got more cutscenes. Which, I don't know, I guess cutscenes are easier than level design? <laughs> I guess it could be. But, I, you know, I kind of have come to appreciate the, the amount of cutscenes in this game. And so... You know, I don't find myself complaining. Okay, here we go. Hey, guys. I don't have any grenades. At least I didn't do one of those things where Master Chief, like, becomes a flood. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Yep, I'm gonna die. Oh crap, oh crap. To kill the enemy, you must become the enemy. Ah, uh, no, 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 I don't want to do that. No! Go away! Ah, oh, this sucks. Oh, we're running low, guys. We're running low. Okay, I'm gonna need these. I see you. All right. War grenades. Perfect. Thank you. Checkpoint done. Oh, good. We out of ammo for this? We are. At least got a health pack. All right. We're doing great, guys. We're doing great. Uh, not sure exactly where we need to go next. I'm actually not sure what my objective is now that I think about it. Resume the current game. Okay. I'm assuming that I'm supposed to go this way. Maybe not. Or maybe so. I came through. Oh, man. Did you do that thing where I don't know where I'm supposed to be? Yeah. Okay. Is, is, is it the pods that you're supposed to reload that with? You know what? That's fine. Uh, I 
Okay, can't go that way. So I'm definitely not supposed to be here. Okay. Oh, boy. All right. Okay. Okay. Definitely, definitely think, where am I supposed to go? Huh. Okay. A little bit lost. A little bit. Am I supposed to? You didn't really give me a clear objective here. Okay. <sighs> okay, I should be able to come through here then. Right, they barricaded themselves in. All right, I came through here thinking I'd find a way out. Uh, oh. Oh, can't go through here. Jerks? How did... Okay, wait a minute. Can I get up on this? I can't. Uh, huh? Uh, I actually do have some plans, Hybrid. Uh We're going to have some folks over uh, tomorrow. And we're going to do some dinner and, you know, watch the countdown and, um, of course, uh, and have some, uh, some drinks. Most likely. Well, I don't know why that keep, guy keeps dying, but there he is. He's dying for us. Uh, is that another door? Can I actually go through that one? Or did I just come through that one? No, I didn't. Okay, good. Okay. Now. Oh. I got here. I need to be able to get out of here, but I can't. Oh, wait a minute. I knew it. I knew they'd find a way. Watching Mr. Bean. Nice, man. Oh, Mr. Bean. What a nut. I think, I think this is where I'm supposed to go. Oh. Maybe not. Maybe, ooh, maybe over there? Yeah, this looks like where I'm supposed to go. Where did I even pick that up from? Is there a dead guy? I don't even know. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. Okay. All right. Here we go. We're we're getting we're getting something. Oh, man, more of those fuckers. I see you. Did I just get shot? Oh, I've been back. I just came back here. Uh, 
Come in. Alright, is there a way out? That's not a way out so much. Alright, I'm a little lost. Quiet is good, though. I like quiet. The peace end, as you know. Um, is, is always nice. It can be relaxing. <laughs> I think for us, it was mostly an excuse to clean the house, though. If I'm being honest. Just in there, okay. So if I came through here. Oh, see, no, I just came. Uh, okay, I can't open that door. That one's shut. That one's shut. Where am I supposed to go? Okay. Oh, Jesus. Man, if anybody knows what I'm supposed to do, please help me out. Come past the same bunch of bodies here a few times. All right, I'm pretty sure I was supposed to go through... No, not that one. Whatever door it is that actually has a path. Not that one. Uh, this has some health. That's actually, you know, it's funny. That's chief the, the chief complaint um, about... Uh, this game is that you get to a point where everything sort of just looks the same. Uh, I don't know, they called it lazy level design. I don't know that that's... I mean, I guess... Oh, well... Is it just... Hold on a second. Oh, I guess it is just the door. Yeah, well, it's kind of like... I'm not, I feel like this is the... I feel like this is where we're at. Like, I'm just a little confused as to where I'm supposed to go next. Okay. I feel like, yes, this is where I was supposed to go. Not supposed to go through here. Alright, and I think we're supposed to try this door. And nothing. And then we're supposed to go over here and see this door. Yeah. Alright, okay. So far, so good. All right, and we come through here. Now, I can walk over this way, and I can see that this door is already open. And I don't see another option, so I'm gonna go to this open door. Okay, and I see that there's some flood around. So I feel like I'm headed the right direction. Now, again, well, see, now I just came through that door. Now, which one do I need? Do I need that door over there? Or do I need this door over here? Uh. Okay. Uh. Oh. Ooh, a shotgun. Okay. So now I feel like we haven't been here. Okay, we came through there. Here's the door. Okay, we didn't go through here before. Hey, Blanvia. Halo ship. Hold on. Yeah, this section is the whole second half of the game. Yeah, I think you're right. Hello, friend. Halo ship maps had this thing where they tried to make it look like a dynamic ship with lots of doors, but it's actually a linear path and a guessing game to figure out which door. Yeah, I think you're right. 
Uh, it was it, it, there was no rhyme or reason. Uh, to the okay, yeah, I feel like I'm in the right place now. Ooh, that looks fun. Uh, turn on that light real quick, right? <laughs> Yay! So nice to see folks today. Appreciate the visit. Hey, guy. Oh, yeah. They definitely knew that they were doing a zombie game now. They give you a shotgun. Come on. Crowd control. Hell, yeah. Now, nah, I'm not going to lie. Zombie games, fantastic. Love them. Uh, we definitely do some Resident Evil, but honestly, Resident Evil is a little scary. <laughs> I definitely get a little freaked out by Resident Evil. Is, that, is this where I need to be? Oh, no. Do I need to go up? I could, but what's through this door? <laughs> oh, Spike. Nothing in here. Oh, I just came through here. Okay. Oh, I came around the corner. Okay. Yeah, I do want to go up this lift. Very nice. Now, well, honestly, I appreciate the moral support. I, you know, I, I think knowing that me being lost was normal for this uh, part of the game, I, I think feels good. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, we're going to have a bad time. I feel like in the in the recent games, it's not as bad. Honestly, I'd say Halo 3 is probably the one I remember the best. I played it the most. Um, and I didn't feel like I really got lost a lot. Ooh. Oh, excuse me. Um... But, you know, I, I tell you, um, I've definitely felt lost a few times in this. Okay, where am I going? There's got to be a door, right? Like, I didn't just come down here for nothing, right? Okay. Let me run up this real quick. Oh, yeah. Overshield. Nice. I can't get up there, though. Okay, do you guys know where this is? There is a door. Good. Ah, oh, sad about our friends there. Ooh, something just finished. We'll have to take a look at it here in a minute. Okay. Yeah, y'all can't see me, right? Oh boy, scary. Uh, it's probably fine. Alright, I got all the weapons I need here. Oh, the light bridge is f <laughs> nice. Ah. Uh, All right, how do we get up there then? Oh! <laughs> I can make it less expensive. I was just trying to find a nice balance. Um, so, we'll go ahead and pause this real quick. Uh, Viren, if you're still hanging out, this is something we do here. I have a, a spicy uh, snack redemption. I usually try to find something tasty for... Uh, 
those redemptions. In this case, I have two items that I have not tried before. Um, I've got Scorching Chili Lime, which at the very least will be tasty. It's a Pringles, uh, Pringles brand. Uh, and then I've got the Fatty. I've got the Fatty Jalapeno Smoked Meat Stick from Sweetwood Smoke & Company, USA. One gram of sugar. It's gluten-free, no nitrates added. 13 grams of protein. The ingredients are too small to read, so we won't be reading those. Uh, Viren says, I uh, imagine there were some budget and time constraints since the game had already gone through so many changes. Yeah. Yeah, no, and that that's it, Viren. That that was the big thing, is they had gone through... So they, 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 went, they originally went to uh, Apple, and then... They ran out of they ran out of money there, and so they they um, sort of dissolved a little bit and and sold to Microsoft, uh, who was like, oh yeah, this will be a launch game for our new Xbox that nobody's ever heard of. And they're like, oh, okay, um, and yeah, just right right down to the wire. Even before launch, they were cutting things, changing things. Uh, there was there was actually going to be a, a a much different progression system. Um, it was supposed to be open world for one, uh, and that that had to change. Scorching cheddar Pringles, good stuff. I'm glad companies aren't afraid to make snack foods with a stronger kick than Tabasco now. Uh, and actually, I, I really am um, going to attribute that to the, the, the flame and Hot craze, uh, which is a great story in and of itself. Uh, you know, there was, uh, there was a, an employee at, uh, I believe it's a Frito, right, where they make Cheetos. Uh, there was an employee there who <clears throat> actually went through the trouble. They actually had taken... Cheetos, and they added a uh, a custom seasoning blend. They even mocked up their own packaging. This person was not in the marketing department. This person was not in the uh, sales department or anything like that. They just worked there in the building. And <laughs> um, and just decided they had this idea that they, they weren't catering to um, you know, a wider segment of, of of people consuming food uh which was the the the, uh, the uh, latino or hispanic uh I, i'm not sure which ones that the more preferred but uh that that was sort of the the flavor profile that they continued to miss so he actually did this whole pitch meeting and they, they were like blown away uh and so they even flew him out uh to, to wherever the headquarters was uh and you know kind of got the whole deal from him and he's he was the idea guy and uh you know he, he changed that whole dynamic uh, which is great. I think it's perfect for for the snack industry to to embrace uh, flavors from different cultures. Um, you know, especially when you think about it, I mean, it's not. It shouldn't be surprising that there's a huge influence uh, in in the states uh, for, from those from those cultures. So why not, right? So anyway, that's where that came from. Is you know, it's from the flame and hot, and I think that really opened up the doors uh, for trying different levels of of heat. Uh, so what do you guys think? You wanna you wanna check out the the scorching chili lime? Or do we, uh, or do we do the fatty? I think I'm leaning toward the scorching. Yeah, all right, you got it. Pringles it is, guys. Can't smell them, Matt. Ooh, they smell good. All right, guys. Here we go. Let me get a, a reasonable amount of these to try first. That's, um... Actually, pretty hot. Hmm. Oh my god. All right, let's see how. Hmm. Oh, I didn't even tell you. Ingredients: dried potatoes, vegetable oil. With the germinated yellow corn flour, cornstarch, rice flour, 
maltodextrin mono and diglycerides contains two percent or less of salt chili powder garlic powder less two percent is pretty good mm. now we talked about msg before on here i think frankly msg is one of the most amazing things <clears throat> a little bit oh i mean i've had worse but that's that's pretty spicy the demographic is people who ate irresponsibly spicy foods. Now, there is a whole new demographic, though. Okay, we talk about our one-chip challenge people, right, Highbury? Hmm. Okay, wow. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Scorching Pringles. Yeah. Well, you know, there for a while, they weren't putting it in there because there is the... The stigma of the headaches and stuff like that. I, mean, I think I think people just either they they just don't care and they want the 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 headaches or, or MSG isn't as bad as it used to be. I think I've heard that it wasn't as bad as it used to be. Mm. Well, uh, you know what? Okay, now now that I'm past the heat, the lime flavor is actually really nice. Um, and I'm I'm all about like okay, spicy foods are good, but it's got to also taste good. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so I have a scale so. There's 1 to 11, 11 being the, 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 the hottest thing um, that is also, uh, you know, not not murdering me. Um, now, I'm going to say that was probably on a, that was a 6. That was a 6, it's alright. I mean, I've had Pocky chips before and they didn't taste good. Yeah, that's a problem. Um, now their, their Verde chips are good. I like the Pake Verde chips. Pocky? Pake. Pocky Verde chips. But I haven't had anything hotter than that. Um, Plunge87, who, who, who pops in here from time to time. Now he's, uh, he's a pretty cool dude, actually. Um, I don't know if you know Plunge, Byron, but he's a good, he's a great retro guy. Let's try this. Shout out. Uh, if I can do this right. Believe this to be correct. There it is. Yeah, that's that's him. Yeah, you like plunge. He's good. Uh, good people. Good retro gamer. Does a lot of cool shufflers. So let's see. Yeah, uh, the one chip is. It looks rough, man. I'll tell you a little quick story about that here in a second. Of course, I was given stuff to do right as soon as I redeemed the snack. Guess you have to do it again. <laughs> all right. Well, just for you, Hybrid, I'll eat the thing. One chip does not taste good. It's all challenge, no flavor. However, you still owe one. That's right. All right. Mm. Yeah. No hot. And I had some uh, Reaper jerky the other day. Now that stuff's fire. That put me out for a minute. It was good though. Mm, see, it still tasted good. Oh, so yeah, Hybrid was there for this, uh, Viren. I um, <laughs> I ate uh, a, a whole jalapeno and then followed that up with a whole habanero on stream uh, not too long ago. Um, and that was. I was, that was actually okay until the tummy troubles. Oh man, I'm looking forward to hearing what you do with that Reaper powder though. That sounds awesome. <laughs> Byron says, uh, yeah, I'll pass on it then. It's hard to have a mix that feels like it's melting your guts, but still tastes good enough that you want more. Completely agree with that. Completely agree. The spicy must be balanced with flavor for it to be... Um, for it to really be worth doing. Whew! Mmm! The fire! The fire! Mmm! Well, I do have a one chip waiting for me for one day when I decide that it's worth it. But I, I will hang on to it until such a time. Alright, I'm in here. I came through the door. I've forgotten where I am. I'm lost. Again. Is this one of those where I gotta figure out how to get up top? Wait. 
Okay, hold on. Alright, coming through this door. I don't feel like I did. I wonder if it considers cheating if you sprinkle Cajun Spice on. Uh-oh. Whoa! Holy crap. I mean, I don't think anybody's going to complain if you make it hotter. But... Oh, they can still use guns. I forgot about that. Oh, man. That guy used to be a people. That guy, too. Man, oh, it's worse. Get, get, get. Go away. My wife met her match. With the Reaper powder. She had a hard time finding a balance of hot enough versus inedibly hot. Well, I, I feel like we're, we're going to find out our pal Hybury uh, is, is going to have some of those challenges. But I know, he likes it. I know he likes it spicy, so... You know, he, he might get away with it. Oh, a Magnum. A long range shotgun? Is that what I got going on here? Because, wow. Ah, oh, man. Serious? Build up the tolerance. Warm, uh, warm up to it, as you might say. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, you know, I think about talking about people who say, you know, build up a tolerance to something, and I never, not think about, um, is that what I meant to say? Well, anyway, uh, I, it, it, I can't not think about um, the Princess Bride, uh, and there's, uh, I don't know if I, I, I'm gonna like. It's kind of a spoiler. But the Princess Bride has been around since I was a kid, so yeah, man. That's what I was thinking. So, you know, it's a life or death challenge. What you do not smell is Reaper powder. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I switched plates of food while your back was turned. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> you chose wrong. Oh yeah, man. Definitely Princess Bride. I still one of the all-time best movies of all uh, well, of all time. <laughs> all right. Okay, I guess I'm down here now. Right, can you imagine that? It's like instant death. Inhale, but do not touch. Man. You know, fun, uh, fun story about uh, the Princess Well, I don't know if it's a fun story, but it's an interesting story about the Princess Bride. You see, yeah, this place is, looks a lot, a lot like the last place. Um... Oh, wait, okay, well, at least I know I'm heading in the right direction because there's still bad guys. That's why I like to clear the rooms. Because then I know. But, uh... So the dude that wrote it never once 
imagine that it would have the the success that it did. One of those happenstantial things is just sort of like, I wrote this thing and it was goofy. Well, there was so much pressure for the guy to write a sequel. Uh, and so, you know, he kept doing it and he kept trying and he kept alluding to this idea that there was a sequel called Buttercup's Baby. Uh, and, you know, this is true. Uh, and, and just, you know, in spite of everything, was never able to quite capture the magic of this... Uh, this original masterpiece that he had done, uh, this cult favorite, if you will, uh, and just really just uh, just lamented this um, for for a number of years. Continued to come back to it and try to write more, and it just it just didn't play out uh, for him, unfortunately. Um, but aside from that, one of the interesting things that comes from this is, is the way that the, uh, the, the book and the movie are different. Uh, and I think that if there were a sequel, it would be challenging for them to then follow it up with a film. Uh, well, for actually really a number of reasons, but... Um, in the book... They, they don't just have a right off into the sunset kind of ending. Um, you know, I believe that uh, Inigo succumbs to his wounds is part of it, you know, and that makes sense because he was definitely, definitely pretty injured. Um, and then in addition to that, uh, Wesley apparently was only able to come back to life for a little while, uh, not for what seemed like in the film ever. Uh, and just, you know, in general, just not, um... Did I come through here? Uh, no. No, I did not. I hear that music. Sounds pretty cool. Oh god, what? No, serious? Oh, you bastard. Um, and you know, like Buttercup gets like, you know, hits her head on a branch. So basically, I'm pretty sure everybody like <laughs> dies or is is wounded or I don't know. I mean, you know, ultimately not, you know, not not what I would call a good Hollywood ending. Oh, seriously, you're alive? You shooting me? There. But it's just interesting to see uh, how these things change over time. Okay, there we go. No way out, no way out. Wait, maybe. Wait, is this the way I came in? It's the way I came in. All right, so I'm looking for a door or another way out. I came in here and there was music. So I know I'm in the right place. And that's actually an important thing they did in this uh, in this game. They actually gave you some audio tells. Um, you know, the music that you hear in the game is significant. It didn't have a... Um, just a constantly got, like droning background music or you know I know that this sounded like I was supposed to be somewhere important but I can't find out I'm supposed to be in here okay let me go back through here and see if there's another way up is there a door up here too that I could have gone through does seem like it alright so I need to be able to get up there ah crap okay can I do this though all right, well, not easily, but we're going to try. Now I'm going to find out there were some damn stairs or something over there. Like over there? Yeah. Yeah, that's actually where I need to go. Oh, shit. Not quite, huh? All right, now, where's the door I need to go through? Oh, hey, look, a guy. Probably should have been my first clue, huh? All 
Alright. Okay, yeah, this is where I definitely where I need to be. Whoa. Not cool. Wow. Okay then. Well, I'll tell you what. I think Reaper's got a good flavor. And going back to that. And I think it's got a lot of potential, but you know, it was it was made in a lab. Somebody said, hey man, let's make like this super hot pepper because the the extract was um was actually meant to be used for medicinal purposes. Uh, and I'm like, oh, I'm going up. Okay, good. Uh, and... This is Echo 419. Chief, is that you? I lost your signal when you disappeared inside the structure. What's going on down there? I'm, I'm having a bad time, everyone. Hey, everybody. Look, there he is. Hi, how you all doing? Alright. Here we go. We're good. Um, and uh, they, they had to laugh. They, they were having people uh, try these peppers, and they said, you know, when they all started vomiting, we knew we were onto something. I'm like, oh, my God. Okay. Easier said than done, right? You watch out, dude. Don't get killed. What's oh, it's on you. I'll save you. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Sorry. I tried to save our friend. Oh, okay. Hey, get away. I don't like you. I like they burst into whatever it is they burst into. It's like some kind of... You can't hit me. Look at that. Look at that. You're terrible. You're like a stormtrooper. things. Not cool. Like, I kind of want to get a look at one of these things. Oh, too close. <laughs> Changed my mind on that. That was probably my pal from earlier. Excuse me. Oh crap, okay. Excuse me. Wow. Now where do we go?
com o carro. Pegar, é? É. Just the way up. Find a way above the fog, right. Well, let's see. I came out over here, right? Yeah, that's where they came in. Okay. Which isn't where I came in, which is important. Okay. Well, if anybody knows where I gotta go, you just let me know. Because I can't find my way out of here. Excuse me, stop shooting me. I'm on a mission here. Gotta get through the swamp. Oh, hey, everybody. Must be heading the right way. Oh, not good. Hey, everybody. Ugh. Nice. Hey, hey, hey. Did you just kill your old friend? Come on, man. Not cool. I'd never do that. Oh, God. Wow. Okay. Everybody, where did I have to start from? Oh, back here. Man. You guys are throwing grenades. It's not alright. Come on, man. I should have stayed with these guys the first time. That would have been helpful. Hey, everybody. Thanks for showing me the way. Appreciate it. All right, now, oh, guys, look out, everyone. You dead? Did I accidentally kill you? Oh, guys. Ah, oh, serious. How many of you guys are left? You? You? Hey, man. Come on. No, no, no. Come this way. Oh, guys. Oh, this is bad. I'm thinking one of these guys threw a grenade, though. Whoa. Hey, thanks, man. Right oh, that's right. Our other printer finished. I had to go check that out. Uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll actually do that here. Uh, oh, I have more guys. Yay. Wait, are you guys having trouble? What are those things? Oh, that's cool. Oh. Greetings. I am the monitor of installation Ooh. Sport 4. <laughs> I am 343 Guilty Spark. Someone has released the flood. My function is to prevent it from leaving this installation. But I require your assistance. Come, this way. Chief, I've lost your signal. Where'd you go? Chief! Chief! I've disappeared. And we've had a clip, so we're going to check that out here in a second.
Guilty Spark. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me? Alright, here, hold up. Quick pause. Let's. We're we gonna add a little. Uh... Go ahead. Are we, are we on? We have this. I think we do, but. Hang on a second. We're going to check out our clip here, I think. Yeah, we'll do that. All right, drop that down so I can see it. And we'll just copy this real quick. See if my web browser hates me or not. <clears throat> <clears throat> Takes forever. All right, so here we go. We're gonna. We're just gonna add a quick window capture here. Let's see. Google Chrome. Okay. And we'll just we'll just drop that down over here. I'm sure you can see that. They were showing me the way. That's right. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna check this out real quick. Thanks for showing me the way. Appreciate it. All right. Now, oh guys, look out, everyone. You dead? Did I accidentally kill you? <laughs> oh, guys. What's wrong with you, he says. Oh, serious. <laughs> Thanks for showing me the way. Oh, my gosh. What's wrong with you, he says. Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. I love it you saw a Space Quest tag on the stream. Oh, I do, really? <clears throat> oh, that's funny. That's actually really funny. Oh, wow. Um Oh my god, you're right. Wow. Oh wow, whoops. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out. Oh my god. Oops. <laughs> It is a space quest. All right, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to... Um... We're going to grab this print uh, off the... Uh, off the wall here. Or off the wall, off the, off the bed here. That's the one. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're just gonna move this camera here real quick. Uh, I don't feel like doing anything else on that particular uh, printer today. Wonder if I can. There we go. Let's see, that looks all right. Wonder if we can lower that down soon. Good? Aha! Yes, what is printing? Well, ah, we are uh, printing. I'll show you here this one first. This is a Halo helmet. Uh, here you can see, I believe, uh, that that is our pal, the Master Chief. Okay. And we're just gonna... Just gonna take off the supports from that real quick. At least try to. Well, we got the brim off anyway, huh? That's nice. We're actually just gonna... <clears throat> try and pop these off. I don't think so. These are tree supports. I don't use them that often. Give me a second. I'll grab a tool. I'm back. <laughs> so we're going to just try and get a tool up under here. Uh, to pry those loose. Tree supports are interesting. Um, this, I don't know if they're supposed to. I think they're supposed to use less material. Uh, maybe Blind Via would know the answer to that one. Oh well, it came off. I'll try and get up under here, maybe. Ah, there we go. Yeah, we're getting it. I should have used regular supports, but this is okay. This is a keychain. Uh, the Master Chief's helmet. John Halo, as I've heard him referred to. <laughs> but, yeah, I think regular supports next time. There we go. That's really nice. see that maybe I don't know if it'll focus on yeah there we go that's really nice looking it's pretty pretty big loop on this I'm a little surprised I think somebody took a halo helmet and just dropped a Taurus uh, in the middle of it uh, I saw some posts on Twitter that use the tree supports which are thick and looked like they use more material yeah I'm not 100% I really feel like I've got a lot of these little ends now um, I'll show you again you know like a lot of this little this this burring here or, or spruing I guess kind of looks like sprue marks from back when you used to take things off those um those plastic things to to do a similar back in the you know, if you had gi joe if you had any ever had a gi joe vehicle you know what a sprue is so so anyway yeah i can actually probably clean this up a little bit uh, i'm not going to mess with it here because we get little bits everywhere uh but that's the first thing we printed today uh this one here sorry i've got a weird angle uh there that's that's the the first thing we completed today yeah i don't think i'll be using tree supports anytime soon i'll the organic supports from prusa look pretty sweet I have to check those out. I just, I'm not a little gun shy on using Prusa uh, Slicer. Uh, and then the other thing uh, that we're printing, and now let's um, let's make sure I have that pulled up good, uh, is, um, oh, I don't have it pulled up. Well, I do, but I realize I minimized it. Uh, there, there we go. And that's what's printing on the big bed. 
This is going to be a long one. This is going to be it's a 21 hour print. Um, it's a mug, uh, but not just any mug. This is actually going to this has been remodeled. It originally was meant to hold a um, a beer can or soda can, I guess, uh, if you're not into beer. Uh, but I have modified it to hold one of these. Now, why would I do that? Well, for one, it's a nice stainless tumbler. It can be thrown in the dishwasher. Uh, and it's still the right amount for holding your beverage. But you can pour directly into the mug. And that is why we did this. I wanted to be able to pour directly into my my Thor mug or whatever you want to call this uh, and just just show off, you know? I think so. Yeah, I think so, Blanvia. Uh, you know, I... Um, I like all the stuff that comes off the shelf. I really do. But I really appreciate when I can do something that hasn't been done before. Uh, you know, this is a remix of somebody else's stuff. So, I mean, it's not it's not my own original, authentic work. Grog mug. There you go. Yes, that's exactly right. It is a grog mug. So, we'll be, uh, we'll be drinking out of that sometime. Actually, maybe tomorrow. Because it's like it says 21 hours and it's been printing for uh, two hours. So, you know, 19 hours from now. Um, yeah. yeah, I should be drinking out of this tomorrow. Woohoo! <laughs> so that's exciting. I like it. <clears throat> and that's what's printing. <laughs> I enjoy it. All right. Oh, shit. Hell no. What did that... What was that? That You know what that reminded me of? That reminded me of the... Okay, excuse me? Seriously? Y'all y'all seen Starship Troopers, right? No, hell no. That reminded me of the brain bug. Oh, God, they got me. Oh no! Ugh. Sad. 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 Wait. Oh, there you are. Okay, I'm supposed to follow you, right, dude? Oh, come on. Serious? I'm trying to follow you, dude. I'm dead. Even me know that stupid. Man. Take some high ground here. Oh, they got me again. Even me know that's stupid. You have good gun, you know. Yeah, I think it's got a good balance. It reminds me a lot of Aliens, which is by design, by the way. Um, they definitely did intend for it to feel like Alien. A lot of the a lot of the ship designs uh, were definitely inspired. Oh god, get away. Why am I stuck? Ah! I 
I know I'm supposed to follow that guy, but I'm just just trying to make my own here. Okay. Alright, that's a good thing. Alright, we got through that. We're gonna call that wave one. Yeah, I see you there, Mr. Monitor, just waiting to get my ass killed. Ah, of course! There, that's for you. Surrounded, that's all I know. Uh oh, <laughs> oh, uh, wait. Uh, I'm out of ammo for this, though. That's fine. Uh, crouch. Give me my... Get, can I have that, please? Oh, yeah, okay. <clears throat> did, I, did I do okay? Oh, it's more of you. Monster grenades. Oh, hey there. Now, one second here. Okay, folks, give me one second.
I'm back. Just a quick little interruption. My kid likes to paint. She was looking for more, uh, more little canvases to paint on. All right. Is he talking to me? What? Three, three bullets left. It's not. Where, where, where did he go? Oh, okay. Oh, God, okay. Just making sure. I think he's trying to kill me. Excuse me. I knew that thing had a shotgun. Whether it still does, I don't know. Yeah, I'm definitely pretty sure this guy's trying to kill me. Let me just walk you through the flood here real quick, pal. Whoa. Not okay. This'll do. Alright, where'd he go? All the way over here, maybe? I think I've been through here. No? Okay. Yeah, I picked up 12 rounds for a shotgun. Hey, 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 hey! Yeah, see, this looks exactly the same as where I was just from. I hear you. Oh, there you are. Oh, wait. This is bad, right? Uh-oh. All right, guys. Here we are, then. First of ten. Jesus. All right. Puzzling. You brought such ineffective weapons to combat the flood, despite the containment protocols. Wait, did you? Whoa! Hey. The flood must not escape the installation.
Okay, that'll work. <clears throat> oh, I murdered myself. Whoops. <laughs> What? Oh. <laughs> Puzzling. You brought such ineffective weapons to combat the bug, despite the contagious protocol. So note to self, don't don't fall down the holes. Figured that out. The flood must not escape the installation. They can soon fall. Oh! Oh no! Damn it! You brought such ineffective weapons to combat the bug. Me suck a lot less if have good gun, you know. Escape the installation. They can soon. Wow. Holy crap. Oh, there's more. Okay. Oh, hey, guy. Oh, what? no, you can't. Okay. We just keep going this way. Whoa! Okay. 
Okay. Ooh, what's down there? Yeah, I'm getting that. Overshield! Sweet! Sweet overshield. Nice. Let's keep going. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, hey. What are y'all doing back here, anyway? I think it's gone crazy since it's been down here. Man, it's like... Wow. I mean, you said I brought inferior weapons, but I mean, frankly, you know... I mean, unless there's like some one-hit kill stuff I could be using, I mean, that would be good if he would like, you know, point me in that direction. Even though he won't. That's alright then. What is following me? Oh, you! So 378 shots? Yeah, I can do that. I can handle that. <clears throat> Oh, serious? And no grenades. All right, then. Hey, it's the Felserdish Prime and light our darkest hour. It's E48 gifted a tier one sub to the Felzer DSH. Thank you, thank you, Itzy, for gifting the sub to the Felzer. Very nice, very nice. Appreciate you taking care of the community like that. That is awesome. Thank you and welcome in. We're still playing some uh, Halo CE Combat Evolved Anniversary Edition. Uh, we're getting pretty far along now. We're dealing with the uh, flood, an invasive species that consumes everything. Uh, and we have just recently printed, uh, we completed a print, uh, which I'll show you. Uh, oops, uh, here, and anyway, pause. Uh, we got ourselves a nice little Master Chief uh, keychain that we printed. Um, so we've got that, and then uh, we still got some good things happening over here uh, on our big printer cr10 s pro v2 uh, so that's a nice looking print um, that's a big print that'll be over sometime tomorrow uh, i'm hoping um, so that'll be super fun that'll be super fun and uh oh what did i do there oh it doesn't matter it's fine yeah we're back to the game So, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Is this supposed to go here? Oh, uh... I guess yes is the answer. Oh, I'm gonna get attacked. Big open place like this. Yeah, it's gonna happen. But wait, it gets worse! <laughs> wait. Oh, this way. Wow, I just like lost it. I blanked it out. How you doing today, Itzy? Hope you're doing well. Thank you for joining us on our last stream of the year. Ah, oh, man. Okay, then. Ah, yeah, I need you guys. Flood activity has caused a failure in the drone control subsystem. Oops. I must reset the battlefield. Please continue on. I will rejoin you when I've completed my task. Oh, I need this. Good. Yeah, the health dynamic is interesting. In this. Um, they moved on from that in later Halo, uh, iterations. I want to bounce that right off that little dude's head, man. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's the end of that. I did say hold my position until the monitor returns, but... I don't think I will. I think I want to walk through here. Oops. Okay, 14 rounds for the shotgun, very nice. Get him. Nice. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, well the official Autobot AirPods are just fantastic. The sound quality is excellent. And with no shortage of things to pair them to, I will be listening at peak performance for a very long time. It was a very nice gift that I got. The Sentinels could use their weapons to manage the flood only for a short time. Speed is of the essence. I was concerned they wouldn't um, from the shape of them, but actually they, they really do sit in my ears very nicely. Uh, the only incident I had is I, I was doing something and bent over um, 
in a way that wouldn't be like you know typical. I was, I was leaning over a, a I don't know a container or something that my kid had, uh, and I just I dropped him straight in the container. And I was like, oh, whoops. <laughs> but. Other than that, no, they stay in really nicely. Oh, boy. I think I might want that. All right, I'm going to take it. I don't know when I'm going to need it, but I'm having it. open that door aren't you there buddy right you can open that door for me please wait, here. please wait here where it's dangerous and everything's trying to kill you please wait here yeah uh-huh that's nice I'll take that there's stuff on the other side there, so that's cool. Oh, hey. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, no. Hi. I was supposed to come here, right? So you say. Yeah, this is definitely, I think, the part where they tried to... Autobot bike. <laughs> Alright, keep those weapons. Three rounds for shotgun. Let's see what's in here. Anything good? Wow. They also use really. No, I definitely think mine's staying nice and uh, nice and easy. I'm just amazed by the technology attached to them. How smart they are, uh, the way they were. At least it seems like magic. You know, I don't know. The, the way they make it seem just absolutely uh, seamless to pair it up with your iPhone and I just I just can't get over how cool it feels and then you can personalize it you know I think uh, you know, they even uh, pairing them now and it, it actually pairs up with your um, you know, it actually looks looks at your face and says, Oh, your ears are shaped like this. Here's the best sound you can get. I'm like, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Flood begins to alter the atmosphere. That's interesting. So a parasitic life form, if I've got this right.
They're really determined for me to be out of shotgun shells, I can tell. These rockets, though, huh? Oh, no, it picked up some shells. We're good. Yep, two rounds for the rocket launcher. Feltzer, how's it going? Welcome in, welcome in. Yeah, Etsy was being awesome and uh, gifted a sub to the community. Yeah, no worries, man. Thanks for the lurk. Appreciate it. Serious? Not good. Probably should have kept a different weapon. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah, this is cool. Oh, come on. Oh, boy. Wow. Please let there be a weapons cache. I really could use one. Hey there, guy. I would conjecture that the other species currently on the installation is responsible for releasing the flood. Yeah, that sounds right. Most persistent in their attempts to access restricted areas. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to... Alright, yeah, we're just really going to have to swap this out. Alright, wait a minute. Wants me to go this way. Wants me to go this way? You want me to go this way? Oh, hey, look at that. <laughs> oh, really? Wow, okay. Pretty sure I hit you with a whatever, but it's with a rocket, but it's fine. Maybe there were oh more of them than I thought. Okay. Yeah, like, at some point, someone was like, hey, by the way, here's a, uh... Here's a shotgun. Now, I'm gonna really wish I had this rocket launcher later, but I'm, I'm feeling... I don't know. I hate to waste them, though. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna do our best. There'll be another shotgun along. Ow! Oh my god. That's a sign, guys.
Oh, gross. Wow. Well, that was pretty wild. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, no problem. Man. Oh, wow. Is that my... Was it seriously? Is that my gun from earlier? Okay. Oh, well, okay, good. Which way are we going, buddy? Going this fast, I thought. Huh. Oh, great. Whoa! Jesus. Oh my god. People, seriously. Come around sideways, huh? I see you. I see you there. No problem. for that. Ah, let's get something. Come on. All right. You know what? It's fine. You're really wearing me down, folks. supposed to go this way maybe oh thank you Oh, this is just uncool, man. Some kind of chain reaction there? Oh, hey, guy. 
serious? gonna do that to me huh oh can't do it I'll assume this is where I need to go yeah shotgun might have been better Glad to see some of them survive. Oh, that's a part. Hey! Gross. Serious. Okay, no problem, no problem. We're doing great, we're doing great. genius what did you do oh I can just go through here okay you gonna open that I will deactivate the security lock. well I certainly hope so <sighs> I feel like those doors were opened intentionally. Blew myself up. Even me know that's stupid.
Ah. Oh no. I will deactivate the security. Man. Okay. <laughs> there are a lot of shotguns here. Gosh, okay. I probably should have kept some grenades, but I didn't do that. I hear some flood. Oh, there they are. Man, are we done yet? We gotta be getting up to the top, right? Fourth floor, tools, guns, keys to super weapons. Serious.
<laughs> oh god, I could not get reloaded. Me suck a lot less if have good gun, you know. He was first game to overshield self-recovering health as a mechanic. Well, yes and no. We have a self-recovering shield. Um, but the health, in fact, that is not a... It is a consumable, so you do have to pick up health uh, in this one. They did change that, though. In fact, there's, there's a health right there. Should I need it? But yes, the overshield. Well, well, now wait a minute. What about Doom? Did Doom have an overshield? I was for some reason thinking Doom had an overshield. I liked in the getaway on PS2. Hold on, let me, uh, let me read that here in a second. Oh, I blew up a friend. Sorry. I liked in the getaway on PS2 where you needed to lean against a wall or railing for a second in order for your bullet wounds to patch themselves. So that sounds kind of fun. I don't mind a little weird little game mechanic like that. Okay, so Doom didn't have an overshield. Doom had some. Maybe Doom Two was the one that had the overshield. Um, I don't know. I remember there being, or maybe, I don't know, or maybe it was just extra health, like a health boost or stim pack or something. Uh, I don't recall. I, I like the idea, like leaning against something though. RDP, RDP. Hello, friend. Welcome in. Welcome in. It's good to see you. I believe we're close to the end. I don't recall well enough. Say for certain. one of those trying real hard to be cinematic games so there wasn't a health meter or health pickups. <laughs> the health meter would be handy though. I mean, of course, they were probably telling you in other ways how rapidly you were dying, I suppose, I'm sure. Oh, God! No mini map. Your blinkers told you when to turn. I don't know. I mean, it, it sounds kind of cool. Like I don't, I don't know. It sounds cool. I don't know that it's. What 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 genre? What what, what genre? What when when was that? You said PS2. Working that stormtrooper in there, buddy. All right, you know what? We'll get some shotgun here. You're giving me lots of it. We'll take it. Well, where was that health from earlier? Was it back here? Speaking of which, aha, here it is. A crime game, shooty, shooty, drivey, drivey, trying to capture the flavor of the Guy Ritchie movies. Nice. You know, one of my favorite crime games was uh, True Crime Streets of L.A., I think it was. I think it was what it was called. 
it was so much fun. It had the, like the, the stunt driving and the bullet time stuff. I played that on my GameCube. I, I played the shit out of that. I played that from beginning to end, upside down, front side up. I mean, you name it. I played it. Um, I did all the challenges. Ah, crap. <laughs> did you not? <laughs> all right. Hey, no worries. So what? The driving. Well, you know, it was weird um, at first. And then when you sort of figured out that it was, it was sort of mostly meant for you to constantly be stunt driving. I don't know if that just made it better or made it acceptable. It didn't feel as buttery as GTA, and that was the, that was the gold standard for me, uh, for sure. But I definitely thought they were going, they were onto something. Giving you those uh, those little ways to you know get up on two wheels or you know spin the car around uh, so that you could you know shoot and then the car would spin back around forward so you could drive. I mean there was just some really cool stuff going on. <laughs> Sleeping Dogs, which was supposed to be True Crime Three, but they lost the license, so it's just called Sleeping Dogs. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm feeling that with the invisible bumpers. Sleeping Dogs, I've never checked it out. On the, uh... What's, uh, what's Sleeping Dogs on? What's, like, how new is that, or what system is that on? Well... Oh, shit! Serious now? Come on. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I am super glad though that, uh, This um, is not on Legendary at this point. I think I'd just be having a bad time. Hey, who's that? Who did that? Whoa, dude, serious. Okay. Whoa. Another one, huh? So far, so good. Is that a shotgun? No, that's a... What, is that a shotgun? Yeah. Nice. Stop! Serious! Also, some more rounds for the shotgun. Oh, my God. Am I supposed to just go through? Is this like a never-ending enemy generator? I think I'm just supposed to go through. Checkpoint done anyway. Let's see what you got. PS3, 360, you got Paul. Okay. Hong Kong True Crime. Lots of silly martial arts. Okay, I'm in. Uh, lots of fun environmental kills. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely into that too. Okay, nothing good there, but I got health if I need it. Okay, good. Keep going. Oh, I have eight shots left. Um, somebody over here have an assault rifle? Yeah, there we go. I do miss the sprint. I think the sprint was the, the next best thing they added to this game, aside from modifying how the health and uh, shields work. 
Kind of hoping I get to the end here, though. Oh crap, oh crap, okay. Should have kept the shotgun, got it. Yeah, I agree. I feel like being able to run through the environment is like a huge important thing that I'm not permitted to do. Serious? Nothing? Oh, how'd I am? What? Oh, serious? Oh my god. Uh. Is there anything down here I could use? Switch? Okay, good. Like, they couldn't even add Sprint as, like, a feature to Halo Anniversary, which would have been a super nice thing. You know, just speed up the walk animation. God damn it. Okay. Um, serious detriment here, folks. Please, just let me in. Ah, oh, nuts! Uh oh. Um. Oh, that was cool. Do I get a point? Do I get any kind of points for sticking one to the flood? I did it. No, I did. I thought I did it again. Oh, I missed it. Come here. Okay, everybody. That was super cool. I usually say if the whole game was designed without Feature X, wouldn't adding Feature X change the game balance? But Sprint seems harmless. I agree. Like, 100% with that statement. You know, it's not... It's not that, the, the, you know, it needs other features. Like, I don't need a space jump, you know? I mean, it would be handy, sure. But I could do without it. Oh god, okay. Take it. Run with it. Okay, that's good. Stop shooting me. I need to I need to live. Whew. one it was a hug <laughs> oh crap can't use that run run spike oh god Holy crap! Okay.
No, stop. Why? You. What was the game? Yeah, there was another game that was, um... It's not Halo. I know that. Um... You could you could do what was called cooking grenades. I love that I love that concept where you know you could hold it just a little longer so that it would explode sooner when you let go. And of course the danger dynamic of, you know, that running afoul of your ability to, you know, count the seconds or not. Hey, man. Look, we're all here for the same party, okay? There's plenty of cake to go around. Uh, no ammo? Oh, crap. Okay. Oh, that's that's what I wanted. Yeah, good. Good thinking. Good thinking, Chief. Definitely good, good that you picked that up, buddy. I, you know, I don't know if it was Call of Duty. I, I recall it, um, for some reason, being something more obscure. Or maybe not obscure, like obscure to me. Like, I, I don't recall it being something that I played. Well, I didn't really play Call of Duty frequently, so maybe. But, uh... Yeah, that'll do. Or, yeah, I mean... The pistol is the best weapon in the game. I know. But this feels like I need a shotgun. Oh, you guys. Serious? Yes! Okay, I was like, where's he even shooting? He's like... Oh. <laughs> Reminds me of, um... Uh, Men in Black. You know, the, the uh... Did we make it? Are we here? We're here. Beard Bros said, okay, gotcha. The energy barrier surrounding the index will deactivate when we reach the ground floor. Okay. So... I feel like if we had to go all the way up, why did we... I don't know what's going on. Huh. Oh. Protocol requires that I take possession of the index for transport. Your organic food renders you vulnerable to infection. The index must not fall into the hands of the flood before we reach the control room and activate the installation. Brett and Alex are both the really good at Halo. We nice. All right. Let's see what we got. Are we close to the end? I kind of hope so. Oh, uh, we got to go back outside? No. Okay. Which means that any organism with sufficient mass and cognitive capability is a potential vector. Is something wrong? No. Nothing. Splendid. Shall we? Feel like we've been in here before, right? Unfortunately, my usefulness to this particular endeavor has come to an end. Protocol does not allow units with my classification to perform a task as important as the reunification of the index with the core. That final step is reserved for you, Reclaimer. Hmm. <laughs> they got Wheatley. <laughs> oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Probably. Oh, really? Cortana. I've spent the last 12 hours cooped up in here watching you. Well, it didn't feel about. like 12 hours. That thing gets set to slit our throats. Hold on now. He's a friend. Oh, I didn't realize. He's your pal, isn't he? Your chum? 
Do you have any idea what that bastard almost made you do? Yes. Activate Halo's defenses and destroy the Flood, which is why we brought the Index to the Control Center. You mean this? A construct in the core? That is absolutely unacceptable. <laughs> Why, you idiots? I shall purge you at once. You sure that's a good idea? How? How? How dare you? Oh! Do what? I have the index. You can just float and sputter. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, bring in the sass, Cortana. The flood is spreading. If we activate Halo's defenses, we can wipe them out. You have no idea how this ring works, do you? Why the Forerunners built it? Halo doesn't kill Flood. It kills their food. Humans, Covenant, whatever. We're all equally edible. The only way to stop the Flood is to starve them to death. And that's exactly what Halo is designed to do. Wipe the galaxy clean of all sentient life. You don't believe me? Ask him. That's you son of a bitch. More or less. Technically, this installation's pulse has a maximum effective radius of 25,000 light years. But once the others follow suit, this galaxy will be quite devoid of life. Or at least any life with sufficient biomass to sustain the flood. But you already knew that. I mean, how couldn't you? Left out that little detail, did he? We have followed outbreak containment procedure to the letter. You were with me each step of the way as we managed this crisis. Chief, I'm picking up movement. Why yep. do you hesitate to do what you've already done? We need to go right now. Last time you asked me if it were my choice, would I do it? Having had considerable time to ponder your query, my answer has not changed. There is no choice. We must activate the ring. Get us out of here. If you are unwilling to help, I will simply find another. Still, I must have the index. Give your construct to me. I will be forced to take it from you. That's not going to happen. Yup. Save his head. Dispose of the rest. Look out. Where'd he go? Crap. We can't let the monitor activate Halo. We have to stop him. We have to destroy Halo. According to my analysis of the available data, I believe the best course of action is somewhat risky. An explosion of sufficient size will hmm. help destabilize the ring and will cut through a number of primary systems. We need to trigger a detonation on a large scale, however. Starship's fusion reactors going critical would do the job. Okay. I'm going to search what's left of the Covenant battle net and see if I can locate the Pillar of Autumn's crash site. If the ship's fusion reactors are still relatively intact, we can use them to destroy Halo. Wow, okay. I guess we're doing that then. Hey guys, nice to see you all. Oh, they're trying to kill me too. Oh, they hate me. Okay. I've been sort of trying to avoid getting... Oh man. <sighs> oh no. All right. We might be getting Yeah, we're about into overtime here, so
Oh god. Even me know that's stupid. Alright, one more, one more. Yeah, you're right about that. There was a ton. Oh my god. Alright guys. Uh, I think that's it. I think we gotta do the thing. I gotta wrap up for the day. But let's see here. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Is anybody out and about today? Maybe. We're gonna check here real quick. We're gonna check and see who's around. All right, so we got just in, in anticipation of a raid. Let's. Uh, this is non subs. Here we got a little bit of a little bit of sub action here. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna find ourselves uh, somebody to love. No, uh, we're gonna find ourselves somebody to raid. Uh, real quick. Let's see who's playing. We got a few options. Um, let's see. Megan is playing Final Fantasy IV. Uh, Candy Marsh. Uh, you know, let's go visit Snooky. Snooky Shogun. Um, nice, good, high energy streamer. Does a lot of uh, uh, no damage runs on Resident Evil. I think he's doing something with Resident Evil Three. I don't know if it's part of a, a, a run or not. Uh, but knowing him, we're going to have a good time. So we're going to go ahead and start that raid. Yeah. And want to let you all know, I appreciate you so much. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for coming in. Uh, love you all. I hope you all have a happy new year. And we will start big uh, next year in 2023. Appreciate it. Thank you all. Be safe.